Imagine you're driving a car from the 60s and you're like in present time. So just to get to one point to another, once you get there, it's like, wow, you're so happy. Imagine my car, almost how many years old, it made it, you know? I'm Oscar Medalia and I'm, I'm driving a 1965 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. The 1965 uh, Chevrolet Corvette Stingray is an American sports car. And uh, what's nice about it, because 1965 was a special year. That was the year that the Corvette Stingray had power steering, it had uh, knockoffs, and also it had uh, disc brakes. With, with those kinds of options, it made the car you know, much uh, easier to drive. Once I, I, I started uh, driving and going around the country, I really enjoyed the car because I felt as I went back in time. Because, when I, because during the 60s, I was still a small boy, so I would see these cars on TV or my, an uncle of mine had a similar car. So I said, when I grow up, I want to have this car. I was part of a car club, the Manila Sports Car Club. And among its members, I had to ask them, you know, like, is there anyone you know who has a specific car? And then eventually one day, uh, there was a car available. And I, when I found out about it, I said, I, I have to have this car. So that's why, that's how I got the car. This group of guys had American sports cars. So what we, we said, why don't we challenge ourselves? Why, why don't we push ourselves and use the car and drive it out? I said, that will be something else. So that started the out of town trips. So the trips, they became farther and farther, all the way to the north of the Philippines, all the way to the south of the Philippines. It's really fun because it's a convertible. So, you know, when, when you're in the city, because of the traffic, of course, you know, uh, it's hot. But once you get out of that city, it's cooler and there's less traffic. And since we're like a group of guys in similar sports cars, when we get out of the city, that's where the fun starts. Because it's all open roads, nice roads, cemented roads. So these cars are road tested so if there's any problem we already know about it so every time we take a long trip we're prepared i know what parts to bring sometimes like in our group let's say we have three corvettes we we i know we distribute the parts i would bring some spark plugs and one guy will bring some some other stuff like brake parts or maybe some hoses so we, we share the parts but i'd like to tell you a story that happened to us in one of our trips. We were driving from, we're already in Bacolod, no, going to Bacolod. We were up in the mountains, going down to Bacolod. So we were driving in the mountains, you know, zigzag roads, having fun, all twisties. And then all of a sudden, I felt a thud and the car stopped. And I said, what was wrong? So I went down. When I looked at the car, uh, the, 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 the cross joint was detached from the, from the axles. So the car stopped. So I said, what I'm going to do, I'm in the middle of the mountain. So you know what I did? I went out and I saw some kids who were playing on the side of the road. I told them, okay, I'm gonna give you some money. You have to find some parts, some screws and some bolts that probably are on the road. So they looked for it. After a few minutes, they found it. When they found it, so since we had a backup, like a mechanic, you know, in 20, 30 minutes, we were running again. And we were, and then when we reached Bacolod, we were all laughing. I said, you cannot do that to a, probably a, another sports car. 
when you drive something like this, you have to have that mental state of mind that you're driving a car from the 60s. You cannot drive this car like a car from the year 2000. You have to respect the car. You have to know the car. Since we usually use it all the time, then I know the car. So, you know, when I'm driving it, I, I listen to the car. Part of the thrill is, am I going to get there? <laughs> Well, I, I would want to drive it as much as I can, enjoy the car. You know, the, this car has been in the Cannonball, Iron Man, you know, uh, 24 hours drive. And one of those drives, I was with my son. And you know, that was a good experience because it was good bonding with my son. And they're like priceless moments. Someday, he's going to have this car, so he's going to drive it. So he's going to have good memories with it. So you pass it on to the next generation. Shake, shake, rock and roll